Hey ho kids, we ready to do this thing? Let's go! On Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah There's only one place you'll wanna Sing and dance to every note We'll eat outside when it's soup coat And circle dance for Simcha Torah Hanukkah, where's my menorah? Grab a raisin hollow loaf Look at your friend, say Boker Tov Everybody knows this is high ho Kids, let's go! What's up, everybody? And Shana Tova Umituka. Happy Rosh Hashanah 5781, or as I like to say, 5780 fun. Welcome to Hi Ho Kids Wilshire Boulevard Temple's official stop for all your high holiday children's service needs. My name is Jason, joined by all your favorite characters here from Wilshire Boulevard Temple to help bring in Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur next week. Don't forget about that one for an amazing high holiday kids adventure that we are calling Hi Ho! Kids, gather around, make sure you got some space in your house for some dancing and for looking for things. We're gonna get this party started. Happy Rosh Hashanah, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason, and today we're gonna to be reading from one of my favorite volumes, Jason's Giant Book of Stories. And our story today is called, The Sun is Sinking. So let's begin. Our story takes place at the very end of the first day in the Garden of Eden. Flowers are blooming, the birds are chirping, the sun is shining. Everything was absolutely perfect. Help! Help! Anybody! Somebody! God! Someone! Help! Adam! What's wrong? Mr. Frog! Look up! The sun! I know. So amazing. We're super blessed to have a sun that shines and keeps us warm. Well, we won't be blessed for much longer. Look, it's sinking. Oh! Fellas, fellas, what's the problem? Mr. Monkey, the sun is sinking. We're doomed, that's it. The sun is sinking. Help! Help! Mr. Monkey, Mr. Frog, and Adam went to bed that night assured that the garden as they knew it was over. But then... Adam, look, the sun, oh, the sun, it's back. I have no idea how it made its way all the way around to the other side of the Garden of Eden. I'm just so happy that it's back and I'm not so cold again. This is the best, just the best. Let's go tell all of the animals that they have nothing to worry about. The sun is here to stay. Mr. Frog, Mr. Monkey, and Adam all went about their day until... Adam, the sun is sinking again. It's sinking again. Mr. Frog, it's terrible news. Are you sure? I'm sure he's sure. Okay, I've got a crazy idea. See the sun up there? It always seems to sink behind those mountains, but if we just build something tall enough right there so it bounces right back up, it'll shoot back right up into the sky and we'll just, we'll always have the sunlight. Well, that's the craziest idea I ever heard. Hey monkey, I don't see you coming up with any ideas. Mr. Frog, I think it's a great idea. I'll try anything to keep the sun up in that sky. Even though the animals worked tirelessly to try to block the sun from sinking, the sun just sank behind the pile of stuff, and Adam and the animals were frightened once again. Adam and the animals decided finally they needed to ask God what was happening with the sun. <laughs> oh, Adam, the sun is going to sink again. Uh, beg your pardon? And again, and again, and again. There is nothing you or any of the animals can do to stop it. But that's okay because in a few hours the sun will rise again over the other side of the Garden of Eden. I don't get it. Me neither. My friends, the sinking and rising and sinking of the sun is a thing I call time. The time from one sun sinking to another sun sinking is called a day. And seven of those suns sinking is called a week. Oh my goodness, I get it. Time, right, yeah, time. I get it, I think. Love you, God. Oh, this is the best news ever. We have days, and seven of them makes a whole week. I like time. Time is fun. Everybody time. Hi everybody and welcome to Faker's Acres. Today I'm going to show you how to make a special round holla. 
Wait, what? Round, yes, round, not straight like the ones we have every Friday night. Round for Rosh Hashanah because we are rounding the corner to the end of our year and starting a whole new one. Now, let's bake. First thing we need, a whole lot of flour. And next, to make it extra super sweet because we want to welcome the new year as a sweet year, I'm going to use a whole lot of raisins. We need something to bind it all together so it sticks for our ball. All right, eggs. Oh, that's perfect. All right, here we go. And you gotta mix it and mix it and stir it. This is gonna be perfect. All right, here we go. I think it's ready. I got a beautiful ball here. I'm just gonna, I set the oven 350, one hour 350. Be right back. been an hour. Don't forget your oven mitt. It could be hot. Oh, what? Can you uh, check this out? Oh my God, this looks, smells delicious. Well, everybody, now you know how to make a round challah. Shana Tova, a super sweet new year. And please tune in to Baker's Acres next week as we present how to prepare for the breakfast. Shana Tova, everybody. Hey, let's learn a song, huh? <laughs> now, friends, here's the thing about Rosh Hashanah. Whenever you greet somebody on Rosh Hashanah, there are special words that we say to each other. We like to say, Shana Tova. Can you say, Shana? Shana? Ooh, beautiful! Tova. Tova. And that means a good year. Shana means year. And Tova, like Tov Me'od Tov, means good. So we say, Shana Tova. Now, we're just gonna sing it. All I want you to do is try to sing it with me. Squish, you ready? Okay, here we go. Shana Tova. Can you sing that with me? Here we go. Shana Tova. Good, let's repeat it again. Beautiful. Shana Tova. Ooh, they're getting good. Now here's the fun part. Here's where it's gonna get a little bit crazy. Can you say Shana na 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 Tova? Let's go. Shana na 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 Tova. Okay, we're ready. You guys ready? Shana Tova, Shana Tova, Shana na 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 Tova. Good. Shana Tova, Shana Tova, Shana na 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 Tova. Okay, you guys are ready for part two. Here we go. I'm just gonna. Put my pick up here real fast. Can you give me two thumbs up? A good year. A good year, good. And I like it's even, oh, a sweet year. Mm, really, really extra sweet. Okay, good. A good year, a sweet year. A happy, 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 happy new year. And it sounds like this. A good year, a sweet year. A happy, 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 happy new year. A good year, a sweet year. A happy, 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 happy. You're good. <laughs> happy, 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 happy New Year. Now the final part is we break it down a little bit. Grown-ups, you'll know this. Do you remember when we used to say Shana na 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 Tova? Sing it. Let's go. Let's go. Shana na 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 Tova. Shana Tova. Oh yeah, you got it. Good, Shana Tova. Shana na 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 Tova. You guys are amazing. Na Tova. Shana Tova. Good, Shana na 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 Tova. A good year, a sweet year, a happy, 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 happy new year. Thumbs up. A good year, a sweet year, a happy, 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 happy new year. One more time. Do you remember when we used to say Shana na na na? Sing it nice and loud, let's go. Shana na 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 toba. Shana toba. Last time. Shana toba. Shana 
טובה, שנה נה 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 טובה, שנה טובה, שנה טובה, שנה נה 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 טובה. A good year, a sweet year, a happy 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 new year, a good year, a sweet year, a happy 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 new year. Amazing job, everyone. Shana Tova. Welcome to the prayer stop. This is the prayer part of our service. Anytime you see this green background, you know it's time to pray. Ah, what does she say? Green background? Prayer zone. Shana Tova. Oh, hey everyone. Hi, friends. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm just stretching, getting ready so I don't hurt myself. You see, we're about to do the Baruch Hu, our uh, call to prayer. So I need to make sure that I get ready. Right? I don't want to hurt myself. Because, you know, everything we've been doing this morning so far is there to help us get ready to pray. Like when we play games or when we are going to dance, we have to stretch. Oh, so we don't hurt ourselves, right? Or, you know, if we're about to sing, like before we sing, we have to, to get ready, right? Like this. Right? To warm up our voices. It's the same when we pray. We have to get ourselves ready. Well, friends, I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready. So let's pray. Good morning, everyone, and a very happy Rosh Hashanah. I am Dr. Sweets, and this is Dr. Sweets Science Treats. Today on our show, we are gonna use the incredible power of science to take apples, dip them into honey, and literally taste the sweet new year. Lesson one, gravity. I believe it was Sir Isaac Newton who first discovered gravity when he dipped his apple into honey. Let's see what he learned. Ah, gravity. Perfection. Lesson two. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Watch as I throw this apple at Jason with force. He will react with an equally forceful yet opposite reaction. <laughs> Science. Neat. Lesson three. I believe it was Albert Einstein who said, if you tie an apple to a stick and slowly lower it, you can get a healthy amount of honey on the apple. That's a sweet new year. That's it for this week's Dr. Sweet's Science Treats. Be sure to tune in next week for Yom Kippur. Welcome back to Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The group was so excited about having a whole week to use up that they didn't even notice six whole days had passed before checking in on their timesheet to see where they were at. Adam was all of a sudden very unhappy. At first I was pumped because I knew after one day we still had six others. 
but now we've used up all of our time. My friends, my friends, why all of the crying? Have I not given you the most beautiful garden and a wonderful day to spend with your friends? Yes, but now the week is over and our time is up. Mr. Frog, I didn't tell you. Seven days makes a week. We know. But four weeks makes a month. You get four whole weeks in a month. This is only week one. Yay! Yay! By the end of week two, everyone in the garden was making great use of their time. Hey, Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? Seeing how long I could stand on one foot. By the end of week three, everyone was talking about the big time party. Hey, Mr. Frog, you get my tree vite? No, I don't check my tree mail that much. Oh, well, I hung the invitation on all the branches about our time party. You should come. Sounds great. Can I bring a friend? Oh, um, yeah, sure. Wait, can I bring a friend too? Uh, sure, I don't see why not. See, actually, if I invite one friend, I'm just, I'm gonna have to invite another. Well, if he gets a plus two, I get a plus two. Okay, everyone gets to bring one friend to the time party. God had heard all the chatter in the western part of the garden and decided to go over there and see what all the commotion was all about. What is going on here, folks? We're planning a time party to celebrate the ending of time. Instead of being sad that it's over, we're celebrating that it happened. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. You do know that time isn't ending, right? Just the month is ending. What? Huh? Come again? Just the month is ending. You get 12 months. 12 of them. Yes! yes! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little game we like to call Is It Your Birthday? That's right, friends. Each holiday, we like to take it around the globe to find out whose birthday it is today. And today is no exception. So, without any further ado, Wilshire Boulevard, Temple, staff and clergy, is it your birthday? Nope. Is it your birthday? No. 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 Hey, is it your birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No. Hey, is it your birthday? Nope. Is it your birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No. Your birth? Is it your birthday? No. Is it your birthday? Yes! yes. Yeah. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, world. Happy 5781. <laughs> All right, friends, you know what we got to do. We got to sing happy birthday to the world. A one, two, three. Happy birthday to you, world. Happy birthday to you, world. Happy birthday to the world. Happy birthday to you and many, 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 many more. Happy birthday, world. And this has been Is It Your Birthday? Okay, friends, it is now time for the Shema question, Rosh Hashanah edition. All right, so in honor of the world's birthday, the question is this. What is one thing that you can do this year to make the world a better place? What is one thing that you can do this year to make the world a better place? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, everybody. Shh, to calm yourself, to calm yourself, all right? To just start getting ready to think. Shh. Mm. What is one thing I can do this year to make the world a better place? Ah, I know one thing to do to make the world a better place this year. Shh. Mm, one thing to make the world a better place. Ah, one thing to make the world a better place. Shh. Mm, better place. Ah, better place. Shh. Mm, ash. 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 <gasps> the Shema. Shema. Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchut. 
This piece of music that we're about to learn is rich in high holy days tradition. We sing it every Rosh Hashanah and every Yom Kippur. And whenever you hear this being sung, people stop. It's a marker. It helps them remember and feel the important things of the high holidays. One of them is recognizing the things that we've done wrong and thinking about and putting into action how we can do them better. In this blessing, in this prayer, we're asking God to be kind to us. We're asking God to be gracious with us so that when we're realizing these things that we might have done wrong, we're able to go and fix them with the support. Avinu malkeinu Choneinu vaneinu Avinu malkeinu Choneinu vaneinu Ki ein banu masim Haseimanu Sedaka vachesed Aseimanu Sedaka vachesed Vehoshinu Avinu malkeinu Aoninu vaaninu Is this thing on? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? And now we have a little segment called What's the Weather? Each holiday, we like to check in and see what the weather is like in Los Angeles. Every now and then, we like to take it around the world to see what the weather is like where other Jewish people live. We're sending it to our weather correspondent in Israel, Rabbi Ben Naim. Rabbi, what's the weather? Here in Eilat, it's super, super hot, but with all these beautiful fish, it's awesome and cool. In Tel Aviv and Jaffa, the weather is just right for surfing. And that's What's the Weather? 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 Wishing everyone a sweet new year. I think you can cut and paste from all that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's time for the Ve'a Hafta that says, you will love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. But what does it mean to love God? When we love our families, we love God. When we love our friends, we love God. When we love our community, our city, our world, we love love God. And when we love ourselves, we love God. So now let's continue with the Ve'a Hafta and show we love God. Please join me as we chant the very first bit of the Ve'a Hafta. Ve'a Hafta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha Uvchol nafshecha, uvchol meodecha. Welcome back to the conclusion of Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason. Now, where were we? Ah, 
Yes, Adam and the animals were so thrilled to find out that there are 12 months. The whole gang was having so much fun with their newfound time that they started naming the months to give each of them their own special moment to shine. Hey Adam. Monkey, my man, how's that calendar project coming along? <laughs> it's going great. One tiny little mistake, not a big deal. Um, I accidentally typed February on the calendars that I already handed out, even though I know you told me it was pronounced February. Uh, that's okay, mistakes happened. Um, just tell everybody that it's spelled February, but pronounced February. Okay. Cool, cool. Now, um, over there in December, it has a new year, but I've also got a new year in September. Right, okay. Jewish New Year, September. Other New Year, December. Other New Year? Yeah, let's come back to that later. The crew in the Garden of Eden was having so much fun that they didn't even notice that the months were flying by. As the months were coming to a close, they started reminiscing on all of the fun times they had together in the garden. It's been a great year. I can stand on one foot for 10 whole seconds now. I ate some bugs. They were all delicious. I named a whole bunch of new animals. Lion, tortoise, dog, cat. It was so much fun. Days, weeks, and months went by and Adam and the animals marked them, named them, and played during them. But they didn't think much of it until one day Adam noticed that 11 months, three weeks, and six days had been used up. My friends, seems that we used up all our time. It was a great run. You both were such wonderful friends. And I just wanna say, if I did anything over this last year to hurt you or upset you, I wanna say I'm sorry. The friends watched the sun sink over the mountain for a final time. Then, after a while, the sun peeped over the other side of the garden, just as it had every morning of the first year. Yes, friends, a new day had begun. Adam, welcome to the first day of the second year. What? Yes, 10 years is a decade, 10 decades is a century, 10 centuries is one millennium. Time will always keep going. Each year you will have a chance to look back at the time you spent and how you spent it, and look forward to how you can change in the year ahead. Happy New Year. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shalom. I am looking for the perfect instrument to let the whole city know that the new year is coming. Chag Zameach, my young friend. Well, I've got a lot of instruments here. I'm sure that one of them will be perfect for us to let people know the new year is coming. Oh, thank you so much. What have you got? Okay, let me see here. How about this? Ooh, I like it. But I need something more. Okay. What about this? They call it a trombone. Trombone? Yes, listen. <laughs> Well, I think that one sounds a little sad. Do you have anything else? Uh, yes, this is called an oboe. An elbow? No, an oboe. It's very fancy, perfect for Rosh Hashanah. We're getting closer. What else you got? Uh, what about this? Or this? Or this! Was that fajitas? Uh, what about these? Maybe? How about this? I hesitate to ask, but do you have anything else? Something a little more natural? Oh, you know what, my friend? I have been saving this special something for just a moment like this. A special horn to sound the holy days are near. What is it? It's called a shofar. Well, 
How does it work? Read these words. Tequila. <laughs> Shivari. <laughs> True. <laughs> Tequila. Wait, let me take a big breath. <laughs> Tequila. <Gidola. laughs> Wow, that was amazing! That is the perfect instrument. How much is it? For you, my young friend, no charge. Use in good health, and I hope to see you soon. Shana tova! I'll take good care of it. Shana tova, mister. Shana tova! Ay <laughs> vey, her mother's gonna kill me. Hey everyone, my name is Charlie and it is time to learn a song. Of course, but of course, but of course, but of course. Now, there's something that we have on Rosh Hashanah. We take something, we dip it in something else. Uh, a tractor inside of a swimming pool. No. A lobster into a bunch of cement. No. It's something that reminds us and tells us that we're about to have a very sweet new year. It's an apple, tapuach, and honey, dvash. Mm, that's the one right there, okay? Now, we said it in two languages. We said English and Hebrew. First, we're going to say, Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. Second time we go through the song, we're going to sing it, Be'ivrit, or in Hebrew, okay? So, I want you to get these words down. Apples, tapuchim. Everyone say it with me one more time. Tapuchim, put a little sass in it. There you go. Tapuchim, bidvash. Dvash is honey. Bidvash means in honey. So we say, tapuchim bidvash, berosh hashana. Guys, we got all the parts down. Let's do it. Here we go. Starting in English. Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. A good new year. A sweet new year. A good new year. A sweet, a sweet new year. Apples dipped. Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. Tapuchim, tapuchim bidvash be Rosh Hashanah. Tapuchim bidvash be Rosh Hashanah. Now we say Shana Tova, which means have a good year. Shana Metuka means have a sweet year. Shana Tova. Shana metuka Tapuchim bidvash Berosh Hashana Tapuchim bidvash Berosh Hashana Shana tova Shana metuka Shana tova Shana metuka Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashana Last time! Dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah. Shana Tova, everyone. From all of us at the Wilshire Boulevard Temple Religious School, Shana Tova, a sweet and good new year. Have a sweet new year, Brarman. Shana Tova to all our early childhood families. Shana Tova, everyone. See you next week.